Uh, well, as you guys can see, it's morning. Uh, it's also raining. It rained overnight. I didn't know that it was supposed to rain. Uh, I went over to a buddy's house here in town and uh, chatted with him, had a couple drinks, and then came home and attempted to put the cover on in the dark uh, after half a bottle of Tito's. Uh, I actually have a clip of that. I'll play that clip right now. It's pretty good. So uh, I definitely paid the price for that one because there's about 94 gallons of water in the cover uh, that I have to go bail out and a lot of the boat is soaking wet. In the meantime, as you can see, maybe, maybe not, it's actually still raining. So I'm getting a bunch of footage transferred to my hard drive from yesterday. Got a good game plan for today and the next couple days as far as finding bigger fish. Gonna run a lot of new water that I haven't ran yet. Just gonna see what happens. Have a cup of coffee here, take my time, take a shower. The wind's blowing like 15 or 16 from the east, I believe, but a little wind wouldn't hurt at all. It's actually just gonna fire it up and make it better. So got uh, high hopes for today, but it's kind of a slow moving morning, if you know what I mean. Just gonna see what happens. Why did I have to come and fish the one spot on the entire lake um, that they're jackhammering? This boat ramp here, just the jackhammer going. So hopefully that gets the smallies fired up. Big one, big one, bigger, bigger. Yes, oh God. Yes, oh yes. Okay, he's not that big, um, but it's a fish and I've been here for 10 minutes. I put down the uh, jerk bait. I just wasn't, I don't, I don't know. It's like hard to commit to that unless you catch one. Um, but I've just been dragging this tube around and this guy came. Brand new spot. I knew this spot was going to be good. It just looks so good. Right. We're working pretty much like if you can see in the background, it's like a channel, uh, the shipping channel or like the ship channel or whatever. So it's like 10 foot right in the middle. And then on either side of it um, is shallow rock. And it's like a really hard, like dark spot, like dark edge on that deep water. And they're here. I'm so jacked on that right now. So jacked. Chunky guy, and get him back here. That was so awesome. So when I first rolled in here, there was already a boat uh, and they were working up real close and I was just stayed away and fished way out deep. And uh, like after five minutes, the boat left and I was like, well, I'll just come up and see what it looks like. And uh, that was in the first five minutes. I had two bites before that and I wasn't sure it was re weird. They're biting really weird. Um, so I'm super psyched on that first fish. Let's get another one. Oh, dude, <laughs> I'm telling you, they're biting so weird. It's just like, you don't even, there he is. He wasn't any bigger. Just another peanut. As just another Sturgeon Bay peanut, but I mean, there's fish here. It's really hard to, to beat it. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. It's a giant. It's a giant. Biggest one of the trip. Yes! There's another boat that just pulled in like 30 feet behind me. That's the biggest one of the trip so far. <laughs> Look at that. Gorgeous fish. God, I hope there's bigger ones here. That's probably three, three and a half pounder. Chunky. Chunky. So that fight was kind of scary. I was trying to stay quiet. I'm sitting right next to one of the channel buoys and I could feel, I have a six pound leader. I found some six pound fluorocarbon and I could feel it rubbing up against that cable down there and I was so scared. I thought it was like a four or five pounder at first. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna get back in there and do it again because these fish are loaded on this flat on the channel break. Except for how loud it is, sorry about that. It's another peanut. Not quite as big as the last one, obviously, but still just a beauty specimen. All right, um, I'm gonna take a break here for a second. I'm gonna put you guys on the chest uh, for a little while. All right, we're back, back on the chest here. Sorry about that. This is fun, I'm having fun. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a bigger one in here. I'm just not quite sure how you're gonna get past the peanuts and just find those bigger fish yet. Yet. Got him, got him. That's a better one, I think. No, they're all like the same. That's still a good fish though, good fish. Yeah. Look at that in the clear water. You can see them come from the light spot to the dark here. Ah. I will not be boat flipping a four pounder when I catch it, but uh, Tucker stop. Dude, they are just so loaded on this flat. I hope everybody can hear me. It is so loud in the construction that they're doing over here. Perfect. And back. But you guys can see how I'm working this bait over. I mean, it's just a drag. There's no, I'm not cracking it. I'm not popping it. And this is how, pretty much how I'm used to fishing a tube too. It's just slow dragging it back in Kansas. It's my favorite way to catch them. That's a bigger one, I think. It's so hard to tell. Oh yeah. Better, better. The quality is so much better here in this spot today. So much better. I don't really trust my light line. He's not even that big. They're just chunky, they're so fat. Come here, guy. Just look at that. Ooh wee. Dandy. God, this is so much fun. I have to find the bigger fish though. I mean, we could do this all day long, but my whole entire goal on this whole thing is to catch one over five. And I know I can do it. I know I can run into one. Uh, 
I hate braid in the wind sometimes. Yay. Well, I'm just going to tie another one onto another rod. I'm not going to dick with that. Got him. Got him. Big one. Big one. Bigger. Guy, he's not that big, but still a nice fish. Oh man, I am so due. That's one of the biggest of the day, actually. Oh my god. Tucker was just starting to fall asleep. I was starting to fall asleep. Uh, it's been a long, long lull in the action. But uh, thankfully this guy came to say hi. There we go. That's a butterball. I mean, he's not huge, but like I said, um, we've been due here. <laughs> Poor Tucker. Don't bite his tail. Just give him a kiss. Don't bite. Just give him a kiss. You're going to make everybody so angry. God, I'm so happy to see that. Probably three pounder. Look at this. Barely hooked. Right next to the boat too. So right now we're on a totally different area. Just a huge rock plat flat. Have been working out from eight to now we're in nine, 10 feet of water. Water temp is 45. Oh, so man, I really needed that one. But I think this area, there are definitely big fish in this area. I was just getting ready to leave. Beautiful, beautiful Sturgeon Bay brown bass going back. Bye-bye. Well, that was a nice little slump buster. I've tried fishing a jerk bait. I've tried fishing a swim bait. And still, the only thing I can get bit on is dragging a tube. But I am going to get some hair jigs this evening. Um, I think that could be a dialed bite. It's a really different technique than what I'm used to. We'll just have to see. I don't mind dragging a tube, but man, the past like two hours have just been absolutely painful. There's another one. The other one. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's the biggest one yet. That's the biggest one yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, good fish. Big fish. Oh, my God. Get out of the trolling motor. Come around this way. Oh. Big one, big one, big one, big one. Oh yeah, oh my God. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. Look at how he ate that tube too. It's gone. Gandhi. I was like literally just telling you guys how much of a grind it's been. And just like that, in 10 minutes, I've now popped two. And this one, I think, is the biggest one of the trip. I think he's like three and a quarter. Eh, it's like three and a half. I don't know. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Unreal. Crazy how you can just be going that long. No bites, no bites, no bites. I think it's now starting to mist. Uh, I don't know if it's going to start raining again, but the wind kind of picked up and uh, got these girls fired up. So... I'm gonna get a quick weight on this one. Like I said, I think it's probably three and a half, but this is the biggest one of the trip. It's just an absolute football. And I know exactly where I'm coming tomorrow morning because uh, I think there's a lot more potential for this area, so. All right, we got this big one-eyed beauty going back. That is such a beautiful, beautiful fish. Back down into the clear water. Oh my God, I needed that so, so bad. Like I was just saying, I mean, it's like starting to mist right now. The wind has picked up just a little bit. I was literally just about to leave because it has just been, it's been so painful. That was literally within like two or three casts of my last fish. Who knows? All right, we're back to the original zone because I'm not running anymore. Uh, the spot's got a lot more wind on it right now. So we'll see if maybe those fish reloaded on this shallow flat here. I don't think there's gonna be any bigs, I don't know. But that flat that I was on over there, trying to stay out of the wind, that flat that I was on over there is now uh, loaded with boats. So I think those fish have seen enough pressure, but after Tucker and I are done here, then we're gonna head in, go to the bait shop, uh, regroup and go from there. But as soon as I turn around, that wind noise is gonna suck. So I apologize in advance.
big, 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 big one, big one. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That is a big one. Okay. Okay, he's not giant giant, but he's still a good one. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's the biggest one yet. Oh, he's got spots all over him too, badass. Oh, he's not. I think he's pinned pretty good. Oh, that might be a four. That might be a four. That's definitely the biggest one. God, I'm so glad I came back. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You bet. You bet. Look at this thing. Just a butterball. Look at the cool spots all over that. Look at that fish. That is so cool. I've never caught a Somali like that. Oh, he was pinned really good. I don't know, let's just for fun, because I'm sure somebody on YouTube is going to say that I'm BSing, or maybe thinking that it's bigger, I don't know. Let's find out for sure. Just almost three and a half. Chunky guy. Chunky three and a half pounder. Oh, I'm so jacked that I came back to the spot. That was a good idea. Hopefully there's a couple more just like that. Let's get the release on them here. Beauty three and a half pounder. What do you think, Tuck? Pound it. In his little flannel. There he is. Oh yeah. That's another better one feels better oh my god get away from the cable that's a better one I just slid down the channel just a little bit get on some new water in the same area yeah that's big that's that's the biggest one yet it's got to be look at him yeah oh yeah we're Gonna put a weight on that one. Okay. Look at that hook already popped out too. Chunky guy, dark fish too. <laughs> Let's just for comparison here put him on the bump. Let's say, yeah, 17. 17 incher. But just fat, almost as wide as the bump board. We got 332. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for me today. That was seriously like so much fun uh, like I keep saying it's hard to complain about catching you know extensive amounts of two and a half to three and a half pounds smallmouth but uh, you know we've got that by dialed but I feel like I would have run into a big you know in that area so I guess it was good that I got that out of my system I'm not necessarily certain that I'm gonna run south tomorrow I'll have to check the weather again but one of these days man uh, these fish just keep getting bigger and today's quality was much better but you know if i could run into an area where those are all like four pounders and run into a five or a six that's kind of where i'm at so uh gonna make the run back in and uh, get some footage edited up for you guys seriously please let me know i hope you guys have been enjoying these videos you know this is super fun for me to do i was gonna come up here regardless whether i was filming or not it just kind of worked out so Drop a comment down below if you guys like smallmouth fishing in Sturgeon Bay. I don't think that there's a reason not to, but I promise at some point in this trip, I've got a lot of time left, I am gonna run into a five pounder and catch my new PB. So with that said, Tucker and I are out. I'll catch you guys on the next one.